Good morning and aloha. aloha. I would like to thank all of you for taking the time to attend the October Grand Service here at Pearl Church. And thank you for your kind and sincere offerings. I'm sure God the parent and Oya is very happy to see you all here today and have to, to have performed the service in high spirits, with joy and in high spirits. And thank you to those who have joined us in live streaming today, as well as for our morning and evening services. Thank you very much. I want to share a funny story. A small kid came up to me and said, Uncle, you know, for Halloween, you don't need masks, yeah? I thought he was being sarcastic, meaning that my face was so scary that, you know, I don't need a mask. But he meant to say that since it's pandemic, we're all already married wearing a mask. <laughs> Thank you for laughing. We are already in the 21st month of this coronavirus virus pandemic. And during these past two weeks, there seems to be a downward trend. <clears throat> in our new COVID infections in Hawaii. <clears throat> Presently, Hawaii is 68% vaccinated, and we are hopeful that we can see the beginning of the end of this pandemic, although we've been saying this the past few months. Still, many people are resistant to getting vaccinated due to their distrust of the government and pharmaceutical companies. How can we bring about a settling of the minds of the world? I believe is through the teachings, the Tenikyo teachings. Tenikyo started 183 years ago on October 26, 1838, when God the parent, Tendio Mikoto, spoke through Miki Nakayama for the first time, saying, I am God of origin, God in truth. There is causality in this residence. At this time, I have descended here to save all humankind. I wish to receive Miki as a shrine of God. All Tenikyo churches call this month's service the October Grand Service to commemorate this event.今、一度皆様にどのようにしてお道が始まったかをお伝えしたいと思います。天保9年1838年10月26日、親神天領の御皇塔が親様教祖中山美久様の口を通して応戦なった最初の言葉。我は元の神、実の神である。この屋敷に
It was on October 26, 1837, when his eldest son, Shuji, 17, felt a sudden pain in his left leg while he was sowing barley in the fields, along with his mother, Miki. The pain was so severe that he was barely able to return home using his rake as a crutch. A physician was consulted immediately, and though he did his utmost in treating the patient, nothing seemed to ease the pain at all. At the suggestion of one of those present, Zembe sent a messenger to Ichibe of Nagataki village, who was locally renowned for his healing powers. However, Ichibe was away in Nigo village at the time. で立教の前年前の年の10月26日のこと17歳の長男修二は母親美樹に伴われてむきまきの畑仕事に出かけたおり急に左足に痛みを覚え熊手を杖にしてかろうじて家に,家にたどり着いた早速医者に見せたところ発覚薬などで手当ての限りを尽くしてくれたが一向に痛みは収まらない。そこで人の勧めるままに、修験者一兵の使いを机のものに出して頼みに行ったが、あいにく不在であった。Two days later, on the 26th, 28th, the messenger was again sent to Ichibe. As soon as he heard about Shuji's problem from the messenger, Ichibe offered the prayer of a hundred nights to appease what he felt was a spirit. Tormenting Shuji. Shuji's pain had already eased by the time the messenger returned to Zembe's house. However, the pain came back on the following day, and the messenger was again sent to Ichibe. Ichibe offered the prayer once more, and again Shuji's pain was gone for the time being, only to recur on the following day. Again, the messenger was sent to Ichibe, and after the prayer was thus offered for the third time, Shuji enjoyed a comparatively long period of relief, though only for about 20 days. 2日後、再び使いのものを立てて、修験者を呼びに行ったところ、Ichibe は100頭苗を上げて詫びてくれた。一時収まったものの、また痛み出したので、また痛み出したので、また痛み出したので、また痛み出したのでまともや呼びに行って祈祷してもらうと一旦は痛みは治まるものの次の日になるとまた痛み出すこうして3度祈祷が繰り返されたしかしながらも20日経つとまた痛み出した In his anxiety over his son's condition, Zenbei called, called on Ichibe in person and consulted him in earnest. Ichibe suggested if such were the case, they should hold an incantation at Zenbei's home. After returning home and talking the matter over with his family, Zenbei agreed to this plan. Ichibe hired a woman of Nagadaki village, Magata village, named Soyo, to act as a medium. And hold the two gohei sacred staff with cut or folded paper streamers, and all the neighbors were invited to the incantation. After lighting a purifying fire, the incantation was performed, and Shuji's pain was gone. In a half year or so, however, it came back again, only to be followed by another incantation, an ease that lasted only for a short time. This cycle of relief and relapse was repeated nine times within one year. The Shinpai no Amari, Zenbe, Mizukara, Ichibe, O Otosre, Sodan, O Statokoro, Soyu Kotonaraba, Isso no Koto, Otakude, Kajikito, Yosekaji O Surga Yokaro, Tono Koto de Atanode, Itan Ye Kaili, Kajin Tomo, Sodan no E, Stagan Koto Ninata, Ichibe, Soyo to Yu Sto, Yatoi,
しかし半年経つとまた痛み出し家事祈祷を寄せ家事をしてもらうとまた収まるえこれを1年のうちに9度も繰り返したということです Each time the incantation was held, Zembe did not simply call his neighbors together, but he served them food and drink and gave rice to the people in the village in honor of the dead. For those days, the expenditure involved on each occasion was not a light one, the total amounting to 400 mongme, or about $2,000 in today's US dollars, 2021. ヨセカジの時にはただ近所の人に集まってもらうだけでなくいちいち酒主犯を振る舞いまた供養のために近在の人々にお米を施したちなみに1回の費用はおよそ現在の価値でいうと約2000ドルそれの9回の費用となるので大きいです軽い費用ではなかったがかわいい我が子の息子のことなれば、全米は少しも費用をいとわなかった。Then, at 10 o'clock, on the evening of the October 23rd, 1838, in addition to Shuji's leg, Zembo, Zembe had trouble with his eyes, and Miki had a severe pain in her back. Thus, there were now three ailing persons under one roof. Ichibe happened To be visiting his relatives in Shoishiki village. Zenbei sent a messenger for Ichibei who came at once, saying, This must be serious. Let us hold an incantation. Then he proceeded to prepare for the ritual. Scarcely waiting for daybreak, he sent a messenger for Soya, who had regularly served as medium, but she was not at home. Having no alternative, Ichibe requested that Miki take her place and hold the Gohei as medium. Suddenly, in the midst of intent prayer, came the revolution, revelation through her mouth I wish to receive Miki as a shrine of God. Kakte, Tempo Kunen, Jugat Nijo San Nichi, Gogo Juji, Shuji no Ashno Itamini Koete, Zenbe wa me. ミキは腰と3人揃っての痛みと悩みとなったこれではただことではない寄せかじをしましょうとで夜明けを待っていつもかじ台になるそよを迎えにやったがあいにくと不在であったやむなくミキに五兵を持たせ一心込めての祈祷最中にミキを神の社にもらい受けたいとのお告げとなったのである。After these, this series of events, past events had flashed through his mind, Zembe somehow felt uneasy. But as the intention of God the parent was really unacceptable, he concluded he had better decline it. So he said, Though you are so earnest in your request, I am sorry I cannot accept it. Ours is a busy home as I have many children, and I am an official in the village. Since there are many other respectable homes, I beg you to go, someone, to, go to someone else's house. Ichibe also entreated God to ascend. とっさの間にも、全米は、元の神のおぼしめしは到底お受けできるものではないので、これはお断りするがよいと定め、せっかくの仰せではございますが、子供もたくさんございますし、裏の役なども務めて忙しい家でございます。大けはできません。他様に立派な家もたくさんございますから、どうかその方へお越し願います。と申し上げ、全米も言葉を添えてお,お上がりくださいませと願ったのです。But God of origin would not accept their entreaties, and Mickey's tone became more and more severe. And her behavior more and more agitated. Ichibe, though experienced in the ways of spiritualism, was utterly dumbfounded when he unexpectedly heard the voice of an unknown God through Miki's lips, apparently because he had used her as a substitute for his usual medium. The incantation came to a halt, 
and now the state of affairs took a new turn. After having asked God of origin for some time before giving a definite answer, those attending the incantation withdrew from the presence of God to talk the matter over among themselves. They also sent for other relatives who were not present. しかし、モンドの神はどうしてもお聞き入れにならず、ミキの言葉はいよいよ厳しく、その様子はますます激しくなった。いつもの家事代の代わりにミキを使ったばかりに、その口から思いもかけぬ未知の神の声を聞いて、さすがの主言者一兵も全く途方に暮れた。The family and relatives joined by Ichibe continued talking over the matter, searching for an acceptable solution. But no matter how long they talked, no one was in favor of obeying the intention of, the God, of God of origin. Everyone again returned to the presence of God and in chorus refused once more, entreating God to ascend at once. 家族や親族に一兵も加わりあらゆる知恵を絞って相談を重ねたがいくら相談しても親神に従うがよいという者はいないさりとて家庭の現状を思えばどうしてもお受けしようという気にはなれない一度揃って重ねてお断りし早々にお上がりくださいと懇願した。They had hardly finished speaking before Miki's appearance underwent a complete change. Her words grew more severe than ever, and she admonished them in a tone of command, saying, Whoever may come, God will not retire. It is natural that you are filled with anxieties at present, but after 20 or 30 years have passed, a day is sure to come. When all of you would admit the truth of my intention. But they too would not yield an inch. They pressed God to retire at once, protesting that being human, they could not possibly wait 20 or 30 long years. To this, Miki replied in a still more severe tone You shall do as God of origin wills. And comply with my demand. I shall save all humankind if you will listen to me. But if you should object it, I shall destroy this house so completely that not a trace of it will remain. She spoke these words in a state of absolute selflessness, intently conveying the will of God of origin. So, no, what about a while ago, or another, or another, which he. ミキの様子は一変し言葉も一段と「誰が来ても神は知るぞかぬ」「今はいろいろと心配するは無理ではないけれど20年30年経ったなればなるほどと思う日が来るほどに」と命ずるように諭されたが人々は引こうとはせず人間の我々はとても20年30年も待っているわけにはまいりません「今すぐお上がりくださいますよ」と願いますと迫るとミキはさらに激しく「元の神のおぼしめし通りするのや神の言うこと承知せよ聞き入れてくれたことならば世界一列助けさそうもし不承知とあらばこの家子もないようにする」と無我の境にこの元の神のおぼしめしを伝えられた。Miki had been sitting straight night after day for three consecutive days, holding the goke in her hands. She had taken neither meal nor rest during this time. Sometimes she would sit calmly, but other, at other times she would solemnly reveal the intention of God of origin in a resounding voice, her, voice, her hands trembling and wavering so violently that the paper fringes of the gohe. Were torn to shreds. ミキはそのままの状態で3日の間3日間五兵を手にして短座せられたまま一度の食事も取らずいささかの休息もされずある時には響き渡るような声で厳かに元の神のおぼしめしを告げられ
手は激しく揺れ動き、五兵の垂れ紙は散々に破れた。Those present continued their talk to see if there were any possible means to persuade God to accept. Naturally, they consulted Ichibe, but the matter had already proved to be beyond his powers. Even less could any of the others suggest an acceptable idea. Meanwhile, the strain and exhaustion on Miki, who was intently conveying the will of God of origin day and night, taking neither food nor rest, Increased visibly. Zembe, fearing it might cost her life if the situation continued, finally concluded that there was no alternative but to comply. At eight o'clock on the morning of the 26th, he accepted God's demand, declaring with firm resolution, I offer a Miki to you. なんとかしてお上がりいただく手だけはないものかとなおも相談を重ね一兵衛にも伺ってみたがすでに一兵衛の力の及ぶところではなかった一方食事も取らずに床にも休まず昼夜の別なく元の神のおぼしめしを伝えられる幹の緊張と疲労はそばの見る目にもその度を超えこのままでは一名の子供を気遣われる様子になったのでついに全米はここに至ってはお受けするより他はないと思い定め26日午前8時固い決心のもとに幹を差し上げますとお受けした。And at that instant, Miki Nakayama was settled as a shrine of God. The mind of God the parent entered into her, and she, revealing the divine will, began the ultimate teaching for saving all humankind. Indeed, she is the one who we revere as a shrine of Tsukihi, the one whom we yearn after as the parent of the divine model, the one whom we glorify as Oyasama. This event fell on October 26, 1838, when Oyasama was in her 41st year. From the Furisaki, we read These thoughts of Tsukihi are spoken through her. The mouth is human, the mind is that of Tsukihi. Listen, I, Tsukihi, am borrowing her mouth wholly, and I, Tsukihi, am lending my mind wholly. この時それまでの激しい様子以来初めて静まって中山美樹は神の社と定まりなされた親神の心を入り込んでそのおぼしめしを述べ世界助けのダメの教えを始められたこの方こそ我らが月日の社と仰ぎひな形の親と慕い親様と称える方である時に1838年10月26日であったお筆先に「今なるのを月日の思うことなるは口は人間心を月日や」「しかと聞け口は月日が皆借りて心は月日皆貸している」「This teaching was begun to save all humankind and through this teaching we can be saved from this pandemic」Let us perform We have just performed the service with all our hearts to cleanse our mind and pray for those people who are suffering from the effects of this virus. When the minds become spirited, God the parent, God the parent will accept that mind and provide blessings for any illness and circumstances. お勤めで心の誇りを払いコロナ禍で苦しむ人のために祈りましょう私たちがお互い助け合う姿をご覧になることが親神様の望まれるところでありますその真実をお受け取りくださりどんな病もどんな状況にあってもご死亡をくださると信じますご清聴ありがとうございました。